Hello. No. Okay, great. Yeah, no, I'm gonna cut this out and just put music over it. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Of course, it doesn't matter what I'm saying. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to... Hey guys, welcome back to my video. As you can see, I have gone back to blonde, except I've gone blonde all over. I have taken that extra jump that I've always wanted to make, and I've bleached my eyebrows. I have bleached my facial hair. I have bleached the top layers of my skin off because it hurt, and I did not, I'm not a professional. I have never done this professionally, and at shows with the end result. My face is a little sensitive, but I know it'll be fine. It'll heal. It's so simple to do this. I, uh, I had to do two rounds of bleach. Um, I used a volume 30, and I used a volume 40, and I also used a toner in the Wheel of Color Charm 8NW, which is light, natural, warm blonde. I wanted it to be a bit on the sandy blonde, dirty blonde side, slash that kind of Tyra-ish blonde. Hashtag all the hair goals. I think I did it. I think I nailed it. And when I say I think I nailed it, I just mean that I'm proud of what I did. Because honestly, this is just in my kitchen, but you would think I'm in some kind of jungle room. <laughs> we're not, we're in the kitchen. The products that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to list all down below. I'm using um, a 30 volume developer, 40 volume bleach powder, I'm um, using a toner, and I'm going to need a bowl, a brush, and you should have gloves, didn't have any gloves. And then we can get to work. If you'd like to see how I get my hair to be, if you'd like to see how I get my hair to be, if you, if you, if you, if you'd like to see how I get my hair to be this blonde all over, I think that you're gonna want to stay tuned for the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, well, okay. So this is after one round of bleach. As you can see, it's not an even bleach. Definitely my eyebrows. <laughs> my God. Okay, so definitely uh, my eyebrows are very yellow. Uh, I'm going to need to start and bleach over the tops of my beard right here. And just below is still very dark. Um, and then I'm going to touch up the eyebrows and then the back of my head here is a little bit uh, darker than the top so I'm going to start at the back and then I'm going to work my way up. 
<coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I will be right back. I have just applied the second round of bleach. Um, I just started having a bit of a tingly sensation. It's definitely getting warm on my face. The beard is being very difficult. The hair is very... I mean, I didn't think that my hair is very coarse, but it is uh, reacting that way and is really trying to fight this bleach. We need this yellow orange to turn butter yellow before we can put on the toner. So I'm going to set a timer for about 20 minutes and then check on it and then maybe give it 10 more minutes, but I don't want to have it on for too long. So let's wait around a little bit and we will be right back. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Hey yo! Oh my god. Okay. So you guys, I just finished washing off all of the bleach. Well, you can kind of see it. All of the bleach after two rounds with the first round I did a 40 volume, second round I did a 30 volume. And this is the final result. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it looks so crazy. My face is so... I... Do I look like I'm 90 years old? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can help me eat. Young man, can you help me? Oh, I also feel like an Aquaman. Like a merman. When I had the bleach on my face the second time, I did not carefully apply it. And I got a bit of a lot of irritation actually right here. I just put some tea tree oil on it and it's almost all pretty gone. But look at, look at that, man. I actually am going to go in and I'm going to tone the hair as well. And the toner that I'm going to use today is the Willa Color Charm 8NW in Light Natural Warm Blonde. do this again this is a lot of work and it is mildly uncomfortable oh, I feel like my eyes are still like burning when I come back I will just have showered I will wash my hair and we will see what the final result looks like so stay tuned I am very confused I don't know um, it's it's what I thought it would look like, you know? I think I'm here for it. What do you think? Let me get you a little close that. It's not as crazy as it was before. The color is... There you go. That's like pretty a true color. So it is warm. I think it's beautiful. Oh my God, it just looks like I have like a big light chin. If you look at it, and you kind of like cross your eyes a little bit, it looks as though I just don't have a beard or I just have like a textured chin. Oh my God, I'm never gonna get my eyebrows back. <laughs> the total cooking time was um, an hour and 45 to two hours, which includes like washing my hair. It was just a little difficult because I had the hair, I had the bleach in on my head and I had to wash that out before I had to wash out my eyebrows and before I had to wash out my beard especially. So I had to make sure as I was going along that I was like maneuvering my body in the bathtub to make sure that I was just getting here or there or here. Uh, my skin now feels super, super, uh, my skin now feels very tense. Feels like, feels like I'm just like, like this. 
you know? Like, it, it does feel like I'm wearing a hat. I kind of dig it. Do you like it? I don't, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> so until next time, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and for coming back to my channel. If you are an existing subscriber, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the bell at the top, hit the subscribe button, tune into my next video because it will be very soon. Hope you enjoy, and if you have and want to keep up with me in the meantime, you can follow me at It's Brandon Cross, which is my YouTube name, also on Instagram. And I will see you guys there. Bye.